welcome back my ghoulish friends to another episode of Lynch Paints where in this Halloween episode I will be painting the most mysterious and brutal space marine chapter that currently surfs the void of the deep space and that is the Carcaradon space marine chapter. So let's grab our paints and paintbrushes and our wet soups and let's go hunting for some sharks. But before we go and grab our power harpoons, we're going to need a selection of paints in order to paint the miniatures with. So this is the ones I've used today, as well as a medium sized brush, a fine detail brush, and a teeny weeny teeny teeny tiny brush for those teeny tiny places. All right, so our first step is of course, as always, the primer model in a black acrylic primer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab some grey. So I've got some of the Storm Furmin... Storm Furmin? Furmin Fur? Storm Vermin Fur. And we're going to grab a medium sized brush. I'm just going to thin our paint with a little water. And I'm just going to start out with just giving the armour plates a good coat of the grey. So I'm going to try to avoid the recesses. And for the Carcaradons, their shoulder pads are black. And I might leave some of the, the vent grills as well on the backpack black, as well as a knee pad or two. Now obviously as you're painting along, trying to be as careful as you can, you will always end up with getting some of the paints onto the black areas, but then that's fine because we're going to paint them black anyway. I'm just on my second layer now, so I mean you can see the difference between the two legs. So that's had two coats, that's just had the one. Um, so yeah, so you're going to need two coats of the Storm Vermin Fur for it to look nice and sort of smooth at least before we start to introduce one of the lighter shades of grey and build our colours up. So now I've just added in some of this Administratum Grey and I'm going to start just to build up our colours from a darker grey to a much lighter grey. Because the grey with the Cargaradon is almost the same sort of shade as the sprue that it comes on. So I mean you could just, uh, no, that'd be a daft idea. I'm just not painting them, just gluing them together and put them, put them on the table. I mean you could, but... Um, might raise a few eyebrows and a few questions. So the armor is done for now. Um, I had to just go back over it with the uh, with the grey mixture, just to make it as smooth as I could. Um, so before we move on to the highlighting, I'm just going to take some of this Iron Warriors base uh, paint, and I'm just going to go over the metal work. So. Uh, from a Crook Carnivore squad, I think it was from. Um, I got these uh, these knives in this uh, pouch here as well, just to make it as um, as thematic as possible. So I'm just going to go over these, um, and yeah, generally just all of the metal works in the metal paint. Who'd have thunk it? So now I'm just going to highlight some of the metal works just using this. Um, Grey Knight Steel. So I'm just going to pick out just some of the areas where it's going to be most shiny, like on the um, sort of reflective edges of the blades, just like just catching areas where I think that the light's going to going to hit the most. So moving on to the Aquila, I'm just going to take the Brass Scorpion Gold. Nice medium sized brush. And it's going to apply a nice layer over the top. And any other sort of gold areas that I would like to use. So, probably maybe some of the handles uh, for some of those knives that I've got. 
So now I'm just going to weather the gold. So I'm just going to do a very light dry brush with some of the silver. Followed by a wash of Agrax Earthshade. Also while we've got the Agrax, we may as well just go over some of the, the recesses and some of the dips that we've got. Just to make them stand out a little bit more. So now that that's all done, we're going to go over onto the highlighting. So we're going to use just pure Administratum Grey, and we're going to want a nice pointy brush. With it's, um, it's got a nice edge to it, because we're going to want to use the edge of the brush just to pick out the raised areas along the edge of the armor panels. It's much easier doing it that way than it is trying to use the. Um, the tip of the brush. It's much easier to use the edge if you can, but no worries if not, but just try your best. Right, well that was one uh, long and laborious stage done, so we're going to move over to the rest of the armour really, so we're going to do um, the black areas, and we're also going to be doing the, uh, where is it, yeah, like the, the sort of brown leather patchwork, so I'm going to want to grab some Abaddon black, and then we're going to grab some of this Incubi darkness, so this is going to be the black armor first and then what we'll do is we'll just add in some browns into it um, for our brown areas. So now we're moving on to the brown areas, so I'm just mixed in a little bit of this Mournfang brown into our mixture. Tell a lie, I had made a new mixture. So I didn't really want the uh, Incubi Darkness to get in with the brown. So I'm just going to start out with a nice general layer over the top and with this as well with the leather you can make it as light leather or as dark as you like. It's entirely up to you and how you want the end result to look. So in most of the artworks I've seen um, some of the older helmets or older variants of helmets um, the face plate is white, so I'm going to do that. Because I, I was looking at the model thinking, well, it could be a little bit more added to this. So I'm just going to start out with this um, Corax white. You can use any sort of white that you feel like. And once we've done this, we're going to move over to just the final little details, so like the eyes. Um, and of course, getting some blood effects on this lovely clean looking chain axe. Now I'm just going to give it a little highlight with this white scar. Um, it's entirely optional, you don't have to highlight white, but the Corax white is just uh, a little bit on the darker side. So I'm just going to give it a little highlight, just because I can. So I had to Google it very briefly, and uh, it turns out that they do have red eyes, or red lenses. So, I mean what you could do is that you could paint the, the lenses white, and then add a red contrast paint on the inside, but 
I'm just going to do it this way instead. So we're just going to build up from a dark red to a light red and then introduce a little bit of yellow to make an orange just for the highlights. So this is how I went about painting the Car Caradon Space Marine chapter for your Adeptus Astartes armies. Just a couple of things that I finished off and um, a few details that I've added. So I've added some of the tribal markings that's quite commonplace with the Car Caradons, as well as a generous helping of blood effects paint because the Car Caradons, as we know, are very brutal in close combat. If you found this video enjoyable and insightful then do leave me a like and if you're new as well subscribe would be absolutely amazing. Uh, let me know down in the comments below which part was your favourite, which part you might have done differently perhaps. Um, I'd love to read all the comments down there as always. If you wanted to find any stills or reels of this miniature then do check me out at Lynch Paints. There will be a link down in the description below and if you wanted to sort me just that little bit further then I do have a link for my coffee page down there as well so thank you ever so much for watching along stay safe stay spooky and we'll see you next time